Shalom and welcome to Kol Yehuda TV. I'm Yekutiel Ben Yaakov. I'm your host today. We have a brief but important show today with three very, very special people. We're sitting in the lobby of a hotel in Yerushalayim, the eternal capital of Israel. So we have here Shelley Rubin. This is the wife of the late Irv Rubin. He was mysteriously found dead in prison. She is now taking the mantle of leadership of JDL, Jewish Defense League, Inc. She's based in California. She came to Israel for a week to share in the ceremonies at Rabbi Kahana's 18th memorial yurt site. 18 years since Rabbi Kahana was assassinated. With us today, another special guest who lives here in Jerusalem, Shifra Hoffman. She's also a journalist. She's the founder of Victims of Arab Terror International, a group that does tremendous work, charity work, helping many Jewish victims of Arab terror in Israel. She is also the executive director of Shuva. That's an Israeli emergency Aliyah movement. You'll hear more about that later. And uh, we're very, very honored to have Shifra with us today. Together with us today, we also have Fern Sidman, also a journalist. She was uh, also very active with Rabbi Meir Kahana. She was a director of the Jewish Defense League in the 1980s. I okay. guess uh, three special guests on our panel today. Uh, two very, very important questions for American Jews. First question is, your wish, if you had one wish for American Jews, what would it be? And what is your message to American Jewry, to those who will be watching this at the annual memorial event in New York for Rabbi Meir Kahana, as well as to thousands of Jews and non-Jews worldwide who will be seeing this on the internet. So I'm going to turn to our, uh, f our first guest, uh, Shelley Rubin, the wife of the late Irv Rubin, who was the chairman of the Jewish Defense League, who was found dead mysteriously in uh, prison in California. First of all, I, I hate to correct you, Mike, Irv wasn't found dead. Irv had a very violent death in prison. And one day, I hope that justice is served in, in uh, getting to the bottom of what happened to my husband. Um, as far as a one wish for, for, for Jews, in America, economic times are very bad right now. And as Rabbi Kahana wrote in his many volumes, his many volumes of, of writings, when, when times are tough, people pick on the Jew. I would say if American Jews have the resources, get to Israel right now. It's very important. First of all, you're going to be saving your own life and you will be, and you will be helping the state of Israel. However, we do know that not every Jew is going to make Aliyah. And what American Jews have to do is number one, join JDL, and number two, buy weapons now. It's very, very important to do that at this time because President-elect Obama is going to impede our ability, the, the ability of the American people to defend themselves. And we must arm, arm ourselves. Shelley, are you saying that Jews should go out now to their local gun shops and buy weapons? Buy weapons now. Obama is going to stop us from buying guns. Join us in JDL. Our organization is unlike any other Jewish organization. Shifra Hoffman, one wish for American Jews. It's not my wish per se. It's the deed of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the God of Israel, that after 2,000 years gave the Jewish people the opportunity that were denied to generations of Jews, holy Jews that were massacred in pogroms, crusades, inquisition, and the unspeakable final solution. What would one Jew should have given to be able to get on a plane and come to Eretz Israel? And the American Jews are no different, of course, than the other Jews in exile. And they are religious Jews, many of them, who say every year, L'shana haba Yerushalayim, next year we will be in Jerusalem. But unfortunately, next year, in Puerto Rico or wherever they're holding their seders. 
I urge you, Jews, to open up our website, www.shuva, and see what's waiting for you. When times are good, Rabbi Khan, blessed memory, said, the Jew heads hate Jews quietly. When times are bad, they hate Jews loudly. And when times are terrible, they hate Jews violently. Last week, or maybe 10 days ago, they had a Hit the Jew Day in one of the schools in America where it can never happen. Hit the Jew Day. And they were hitting Jews. Auschwitz does not start with concentration camps. It ends there. It starts with these kind of messages. And we have been saying that Rabbi Kahan of blessed memory before he was murdered asked me to head this emergency Aliyah movement. So I'm saying to you, the Jews that are listening, don't hold your memorials for him in America. He wouldn't have wanted that. The best memorial for him and for all the martyrs of, of the Jewish people is to come home now and to build and live in Eretz Israel everywhere. And now I turn to you, Fern Sidman. Um, my wish for American Jews is that of the wish of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Number one, that you should return not only to Eretz Yisrael, but to return to Hashem. Hashem brought us here for a reason, to create a religious Jewish state. Today I ask that Jews not only come to Eretz Yisrael, uh, my, I have a daughter here, God willing, I would very much like to come, but the danger that America and the exile poses to the American Jew. Today, the rise of, a, of, of it, the dangerous disease of Islamofascism is spreading around the world like wildfire, proliferating. And this nefarious agenda will eventually reach the shores of America. Today, Europe is no longer called Europe, it's called Eurabia. Sharia law is now being imposed in such cities as London, Paris, Berlin. Before we know it, it's going to be Washington, New York, LA, and Miami. Islamofascism is, fascism is growing. The American people have elected a president who I feel and I fear will allow this, this pernicious disease to grow. And American Jews have to realize that our future is not in Gullis, but our future is in Eretz Yisrael, but as a certain type of Jew, as a Jew who reaches out to a Kaddish Baruch Hu, who storms the gates of heaven with tefillah, who returns to Torah and mitzvahs, because without that we have nothing. Because at the final end of the day, as we say every day in our prayer, prayers, the beginning of wisdom is the acknowledgement of Hashem, and without it we have nothing. When the Jew leaves Torah, Hashem takes out an ad in the paper, anti-Semites wanted, and believe me, there's no shortage of volunteers. So today, I ask Hashem to allow the Jew to soften the hearts of Klai Yisrael, to bring them closer to him, to bring them closer to Eretz Yisrael, to realize who our true enemy is, Islamofascism, neo-Nazis, uh, the, the plethora of Jew haters today, and to stand strong, to, to come together in a sense of achdus. And in terms of Rabbi Kahana Zatzal, he is a person who warned us so many years ago of everything that we're facing today. There's not a day of my life or my friends' lives that we don't think of his majestic teachings. And I ask today for those who love Rabbi Kahana, who are here sitting in New York at this yard site, paying tribute to Rabbi Kahana Zatzal, to return to Hashem, to return to Eretz Yisrael. And in Yet Hashem, in the schus of what you're doing, we should see Mashiach ben Hera Amen. I want to thank you, Shelley, for joining us today, coming all the way from California to participate in uh, the Rabbi uh, Mayor Kahana Memorial activities in Jerusalem. And I want to thank Shifra Hoffman, uh, who is with us. Thank God all year round, God willing, for many years to come. Uh, and Fern Sidman, all the way from New York, came to Israel for a week to share in the Kahana Memorial here. And um, most importantly, I want to thank all of you that are watching uh, out in New York at the memorial there and uh, those that will be viewing this on the internet. I share the, the views of all three of our guests today. Uh, Jewish defense for Jews that are in America, certainly they should stand tall, proud, and defend themselves, as Shelley uh, spoke about earlier, and Aliyah, as Shifra Hoffman uh, so eloquently uh, expressed, and uh, Fern, who spoke about Shuva, returning to God. And I think if American Jews pay attention to these messages, uh, we will be uh, that much stronger and uh, that much healthier. Definitely great wishes to wish upon American Jews. Certainly a great message for all American Jews to watch. And until next time, Shalom. Lehitraot.